Okay, everybody, sorry about that. This is going to be part two. I use my Samsung phone to shoot these videos, and it has the volume button on the side, and apparently if you touch that while you're recording, it just shuts off the recording. So I don't know if there's a way, and maybe in the settings of the phone I can change that, but it gets kind of annoying sometimes. You know, I start making these videos and start talking about stuff, and I kind of forget what I'm doing. And I hit that button, and, and there it goes. But anyways, we're, we're back on the Walker 2. And we got it fully modulated right now with the tone generator right there. That's the waveform again. I mean, it looks great. Here's the S meter on the radio. I'm just showing you TX power. Here's the actual power. This is uh, 10 watt. We're in average, so let me put it in peak. So, of course, it's going to peg the 10. So, let me put a next size up would be a 25. Right here. Right here's a 25 right there. So, we're like 11 and a half or so. Pretty close to 12. I'm sure with voice, it's going to do well over 12 watts right out of the box. Here's the analyzer, if you guys remember, on the far left was channel 1, the far right is channel 40, in the middle is channel 19, and you can see everything is nice and clear there on the 40 channels, we're not bleeding or anything. Let me, I can try to change it, let me see here. Let's go to 27.1. Seven five, and then stop frequency twenty seven dot two o five. Center frequency twenty seven dot one eight five. Okay, so here we go. Now we're set up. That's channel seventeen over here, channel twenty over here, channel nineteen. And you guys can see you got your lower upper sideband your carrier and it's very very clean out of the box there's no distortion anywhere so there's the timeout timer again let me uh pause real quick i'll be right back okay i'm sure there's a way in the menu you can shut that time off timer off shut it off i just haven't done anything with the radio other than hook it up so let's see if i take this out to say 60 megahertz Of course, we got a second harmonic, which is normal. Uh, let's do the start frequency at 1.8 megahertz. 1.5 is fine. There we go. So, nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. Um, let's go to 110 megahertz, I guess, just to see. And there's really no... No, no third even in there. So and you guys can see I got my oh, there we go. Preamp is on. Sometimes you, when you're modulated, you shouldn't really do that. But yeah, there's a little bit of the third in there, but not. I mean, it's so little that it's nothing. So. Nice factory radio right out of the box. I'm going to hook the mic up now and take a look at the actual output with the mic. Okay, I got the mic. Six pin on this one. President up and down. So yeah, you can, uh, you can go into the service menu and if you want you could adjust the um, AM modulation a little bit. Let me make sure the mic gain is actually up all the way. I think it was. Let's see. Hello, check one, two, one, two, check, check. Yep, it was. All right, so let's see what it's gonna do. This is the over the air audio right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four. 
Check, check, check. Other than the feedback. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four. Check, 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 check. Hello. One, two, three, four. So yeah, like I said, you could go in and you could adjust it a little bit more and maybe see a little bit more out of it. But I mean, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Not really. You might get it 15, 16 watts. But you know, some guys want that. And then some people just don't really, they're not too concerned or really care about getting a little bit more modulation, which will just give you a little bit more output power. So for the average CB person that wanted to just throw a radio in the car and talk, I'd say this would be perfectly fine. You're gonna sound super, super clear and clean and understandable and you have no problem talking to the, you know, if someone going down the road with someone or talking to a buddy in, in a truck next to you, if you're out four by four and or whatever, it's gonna work great. So, but it is available. There's a service menu you can go into and you can adjust it. All right, let's go into the menu and we'll look at the colors. Red, green, that's probably what I would run it down in green. Blue actually doesn't look too bad either. Cyan, I mean, that, that looks okay. Yellow, purple, clear, and red. I think for the camera, I think blue shows up the best. So there we go. I'm going to shut the key beep off. It has a Roger beep. Let's check that out. I'm assuming it's just like all the other president ones. It's that chirp. Yep. Just the chirp. It's got a tone for your receiver. That's a nice feature. Dimmer. Guess it was up all the way from the factory. You can change these channels as well. Emergency 9 and 19. Like if I, our local channel is 20. And then there's another channel. If I was to put this in my car, I hear a lot of people on my way to work on that channel. So now let's show you guys. Emergency 2 is 13. And emergency one should be 20. So it's kind of like a memory in a way. SWR feature, this is a great feature. We're on a dummy load right there, so we got nothing. If I unhook it, right here, I'll just unhook it from here. Now we got a super high one. So, gotta love that. That's a great feature for SWR. You can switch your mic type. Let's put a different mic on here and see how it sounds with that feature. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I got a 4 to 6 adapter on here. I'm running my old school Static. It's a 575M6. I'm not sure when this was actually made. I heard rumors it was made before the 575M6, but I'm not sure. So I think this is pretty rare. I got this off of a, a buddy of mine and uh, it works pretty good. It's got the tone and the volume. Sometimes I think these mics maybe are a little overrated. Everybody says, oh, it's the best mic ever made. But I mean, it's just the only difference really is it's got a tone, so. Just got the tone control. Guys, I guess, get really excited because it has a tone, which, I mean, it does work. You can, uh, you can hear I got it in the middle right now. One, two, three, four, one, two. And if I put the tone all the way up, it gets a little more trebly. Put it all the way down. All the way down, it gets a little more bassy. So, I mean, it's nice, but it's just a microphone. One, two, three, four. So it works good with the uh, dynamic setting also. So 
So let's see what else there is. PA, I don't have a speaker down here to test. I'm sure it would work. You can reset them all and back to color. So you got your high cut, you know, noise blank and high cut. And you got your weather. Okay, that shows you how good the receiver is in this radio. That's our antenna, guys, a dummy lobe. And I'm in a basement. Full scale reading. The uh, weather receive weather radio is up in Clio, Michigan. I'm in Grand Blank, Michigan. So, I mean, for me to get on the expressway and drive up there, it's about 20 minutes. So, great receiver. Don't think we're going to find anything else. So, that's the only one in my area. Let's see if it does a scan feature. Um, I think I need the factory mic for that. I'm not sure if this will do a scan. All right, it's got a scan feature. I thought I watched a, a video of this radio about a year or so ago. Another popular YouTuber made a video about this and they, I read the comments and someone said, you didn't talk about the scan feature. And then someone said in the comments that it doesn't have it. Another guy says, yes, it does. So it does have it. It's right here in the book. It's got WX scan and CB scan. So I turn the, the beat back on for the button press. So what you do is you take your channel changer on the mic and you hold it in. And eventually it's gonna beep. There we go, now it's scanning on its own. course there's no activity let's key up this radio that radio and uh, I'm assuming it's gonna stop yep good receiver hello check check one two one two check check one two really good receiver let's see if it'll keep scanning now yep okay let's do the WX scan Yep, WX scan. This is no weather radio, all hazards. Station KI H29 and Coil. The station broadcasts from. Okay, let's show the. Let's do the talk back. Talk back, let's see. Oop. Hello, I think you have to adjust the level. Oh, I think you just press it once. Sometimes you have to revert back to the manual. Should be a way to increase and decrease. Yeah, let me reference the manual here on that. Sometimes it's just easier. Talk back. Oh, you have to key the microphone, that's why. And nope. Let me read that again. Let me do this off camera. It's hard to, I don't want to stop this video on accident. Okay, I figured it out. Real quick here, um, you guys can see TalkBack is on the screen. So you key your microphone, you press that button, and then you can turn the channel selector. And you see it's counting up. So now, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can hear it. It's not real loud. I'm sure it'll go up louder. But uh, let me turn it up all the way and see if we'll squeal. We probably will. Especially if I put the mic up. I have to turn it up more. 
Well, let me pause this again. I think the talk back on this is really good because it's not it's not feeding back at all, so that that's really nice. Now, if you put a power mic on this, if I put that power mic back on, I'm sure it would feed back, but the talk back works just fine. For anybody that would wants to hear themselves through the speaker, that's uh, going to be the feature for you right there. Um, I don't really see anything else I can really show. I think I've showed pretty much everything. I will say that that meter is excellent and it doesn't dim down when you dim the display that stays lit. I don't think that you really would need to dim it. I think that uh, that bright light in there is great. It looks like it's an LED of some sort, but I mean, it's, it's perfectly visible. And you can put this in a vehicle. You could have the sun shining and it'd be nighttime. You're just, you're going to see it. I've had some radios I put out in my vehicle. Um, the 980 SSB by Uniden is the one example I used. Never really had a problem with that radio. I thought it was a decent radio, but the display was terrible. And it, you, you get a sunny day, you can't see anything on the display. So to me, that you know, if I can't see anything, how can I use the radio? This radio has everything clearly laid out, and it, it just looks really good. And out of the box, I think it's working fine. Like I say, there's an adjustment in the service menu for the modulation and probably for the power. You could adjust the probably the high, and if you turned it down, you could probably set the low. But I think it's fine right out of the box. One to four watts is or three and a half watts, whatever it was. You you could easily turn this up to four watts if you really wanted to with it up all the way. But uh, with that, I think this is a gr another great radio. I'm possibly going to put it out in my car. Um, probably hook it up upstairs in my radio room and check it out. See how it receives. I think it receives fine based off what I saw off the test radio here. And I think this is another great radio by President. So... If you guys uh, ever get a chance to check one of these out, I would say go for it. If you're only into AM, I think it's a, a winner by far. I don't think there's really anything out, anything else out there that can compare to this radio. For the price of it, all the features you get, the great warranty from President. I think that it's a, a no-brainer for anyone looking for a CB for like a truck or, or anything. If you're just looking for something to throw in your vehicle. The only thing I would say that... Uh, if you want something smaller, I would recommend the President Bill. It pretty much has almost all the features of this radio, just in a smaller chassis. So for a, a mid-sized radio, I'd say this is probably the best you're going to find out there right now. With comparing it against like Uniden or Cobra or Galaxy or anything like that. I think this is probably for an AM only. If, you, if you're wanting sideband, then you know I would say the McKinley. It's probably the, the best you're going to find right now for an AM legal 40 channel CB radio that has sideband. I would say the McKinley for an AM only legal 40 channel CB. I would say this one for sure. So that's my uh, opinion on this one. I think it's a great radio. I um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Please think about liking the video and please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to do another president radio giveaway. I'm looking to get more subscribers on the channel, so I was thinking if I can get at least 500, I'll do another free giveaway. And uh, once I get 500, I will announce everything about the giveaway, what the radio is going to be, and so on and so forth. But I uh, appreciate all the support everyone's given me so far. It's been great. And uh, hopefully we'll make some more videos in the future here. I've been busy with my day job with my work and everything else so sometimes i don't get in here make these videos as often as i'd like to so with that everybody have a good day and we'll catch you next time